Various countries have had the tallest men at different times. However, there isn't any country where the entire population is the tallest in the world, except for South Sudan. Here, men have an average height of over 6.5 feet, while women's height reaches six feet. Yes, you heard that right. When the tallest men in the Western world stand next to South Sudanese couples, it feels as if they are mini humans. This is because every single person in South Africa has a tall height as they belong to the Dinka tribe, which is famous for this trait. But one is forced to ask, why does the Dinka tribe have the tallest height in the world? It turns out that there is a reason, but what is it? Welcome to a new episode of Black Africa Diary, a channel where we talk about Black African history, culture, arts, and civilization. It's a place where you will see the real picture of Black Africa, its stories, and the events defining it. In this episode, we will show you the tallest humans on Earth, the Dinka tribe, and tell you why that's the case. Let's get started. In the land that is today South Sudan, lives an ethnic group called the Dinka tribe, known for its tallest height in the world. But their history dates back to about 5,000 years, in a land which is the Sahara Desert today. These were no ordinary people. They were part of a special ethnic group called Nilotic, and their roots were deeply tied to the beautiful Nile River. In the pages of history, the Dinka people found themselves under the rule of a grand kingdom called Alodia. This kingdom wasn't just any kingdom. It was like a big family with many different cultures, and at the heart of it was a group known as the Nubians. The Alodia kingdom believed in a special faith called Christianity, and this shaped the Dinka tribe's identity over time. Fast forwarding to more recent times, the Dinka people are like puzzle pieces that fit perfectly into the story of South Sudan. They were among the first settlers in the land, and they didn't come alone. Two other groups joined them, and together they formed the foundation of this special place. Now, let's talk about something very important to the Dinka people, cows. These animals meant more to them than just a source of food. They were like walking symbols of wealth and social status, and even had a special place in their religious beliefs. Cows weren't just for milk and meat. They were used for trading and showing off how well off someone was. The Dinka tribe was like one big family, but they organized themselves into groups called clans and subclans. Think of these as large extended families. These groups helped the Dinka make decisions, share things like food and resources, and stay close-knit. The leaders of these clans were usually wise elders who made sure everything ran smoothly. They also had lots of special rituals and celebrations that brought their clans together, making their bond even stronger. As time passed, the Dinka met people from faraway lands, like Arab traders. This brought new ideas and goods into their society, which was exciting, but sometimes brought challenges too. They learned about different cultures, but they also had to deal with the problems caused by the slave trade. Then came a chapter in their story when the British arrived in Sudan during the late 1800s and early 1900s. The British brought changes to the Dinka's way of life. They made new rules about land, money, and education. Some Dinka people even started learning about a new religion called Christianity in schools set up by the British. Life wasn't always easy for the Dinka people. In the middle of the 1900s, they had to fight for their freedom. They were part of two big wars, the First Sudanese Civil War and the Second Sudanese Civil War. They wanted to have control over their land and their lives, not being ruled by a government that didn't understand their culture. Finally, in 2011, South Sudan became its very own country, and that was a huge moment for the Dinka and many others in the region. Through all these ups and downs, the Dinka people held on tight to their special traditions, they continued to make music, dance, wear unique clothes, and create beautiful art that showed who they were. Their traditional ceremonies, especially those involving their beloved cows, were like a thread that connected them to their rich history, helping them keep their culture alive and strong for generations to come. You should know that the Dinka culture, tradition, atmosphere, and way of spending life caused them to grow taller than other tribes in Africa. However, they did not realize it. Since they all were tall, it was normal. But when South Sudan became open to the world, the major contrast between their height and people around the world became distinct. In the heart of Dinka culture lies a deep and enduring connection with something you might not expect, cattle. 
But for the Dinka people, these animals are not just part of their lives. They are the very foundation of their society. Cattle are more than just livestock to the Dinka. They are symbols of wealth, social status, and even spiritual significance. The size of a person's cattle herd isn't just a sign of how many animals they have. It's a measure of their wealth and their place in the community. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. Dinka people live in clans, and within these clans and subclans, leadership roles are often passed down from one generation to the next. Elders, who are respected for their wisdom and experience, play crucial roles in making important decisions, resolving conflicts, and keeping cultural knowledge alive. But the Dinka aren't all about work and organization. They know how to celebrate too. Rituals and ceremonies are woven deeply into their culture, and many of them center around cattle. There are special rituals performed to bless and protect these valuable animals. Coming-of-age ceremonies, where young Dinka men dance, sing, and even undergo body scarification, mark important milestones in their lives. When it comes to marriage, there are elaborate ceremonies that involve the exchange of cattle and gifts between families, all accompanied by lively dancing and feasting. Speaking of dancing, the Dinka know how to move to the beat. Their music and dance are vibrant and expressive. Traditional instruments like drums, harps, and flutes add to the rhythm of their performances. But it's not just about entertainment. Music and dance also play a vital role in preserving Dinka culture and the stories passed down through generations. When it comes to clothing and body adornment, the Dinka have a distinctive style. You will often see them wearing brightly colored beads, leather garments, and cowrie shells. But what sets them apart is their practice of body scarification. Both men and women create elaborate facial and body markings. These are not just for looks. They carry cultural and aesthetic significance and serve as unique identifiers of a person's heritage and identity. If we talk about the Dinka beliefs, they have a rich spiritual system that revolves around Nialik, their supreme deity, believed to be the creator and sustainer of the universe. They also hold their ancestral spirits in high regard, conducting ceremonies to honor and communicate with them. To seek guidance and insights from these spiritual entities, they use divination and rituals. The Dinka people place great importance on preserving their heritage through storytelling. Elders take on the role of custodians of their oral traditions. They pass down stories, legends, and historical accounts through the art of oral storytelling. These tales educate, entertain, and most importantly, strengthen the bonds that hold the Dinka community together, reminding them of their rich cultural heritage. And that's when we have to find the correlation between the Dinka tribe and its height. You see, generations of the Dinka tribe carried genetic traits that favored taller heights as they brought advantages to living in that specific environment. Taller individuals were likely better suited for activities like cattle herding, a central part of Dinka life. They could navigate challenging terrains more effectively, spot predators from a distance, and manage larger herds of cattle. Since they have been doing this for thousands of years, Natural selection tended to favor this trait that enhanced their ability to survive, reproduce, and pass on their genes to the next generation. Hence, every generation of the Dinka tribe preserved tall height genes. But natural selection isn't the only reason. Since their genes were of tall height, their bodies demanded nutrition that could manifest tall height. The Dinka's diet, which includes plenty of milk and meat from their cattle, provides ample protein and essential nutrients necessary for optimal growth. This nutritional advantage likely contributes to their taller stature. But a theory exists which seems more rational. This proposes that generations of the Dinka tribe were exposed to high temperatures during early childhood and adolescence, which might have potentially caused the Dinka population to produce more growth hormones. These warmer temperatures could have activated the body's endocrine system, especially the pituitary gland, which is responsible for releasing growth hormones. This could have increased growth hormone production, possibly contributing to their taller height. Another theory suggests that the Dinka tribe might have decided to engage in various daily activities to cope with high temperatures, like being active during cooler times of the day, and could have worked alongside a balanced diet to potentially positively influence growth in childhood and adolescence. Even if there are no proven reasons behind why the Dinka tribe has tall height, 
one thing is certain. They are the tallest humans on the planet. Did you know South Sudanese are the tallest humans in the world? Do you feel that's because of the outer environment which made them adapt to it and increase their heights after thousands of years of evolution? Let us know your thoughts on this. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on Black Africa, its history, rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching and until the next video, stay tuned.